gonna go to Chateau. We're gonna taste some wine, some Bordeaux wine in Bordeaux. Fantastic. Today, we will be indulging on some of the best wine in the world. This region is known for its robust, beautiful, full-bodied wines. And we're going to one of the most popular chateaus and it's a treat for your taste buds and for your eyes. We're very excited. Um, we haven't had coffee yet um, because we're, you know, trying to do it conservatively. We did the Metro and uh, spent five bucks on a day pass and then we're doing $2 on the train round trip. So we're just trying to, you know, ease our way into the day. Not in a hurry because why not? You are in Bordeaux. So, you may see a castle today, a cute little beautiful castle with a moat. You might see some good wine today. You might see um, some wildlife today. Um, I'm talking about the people as well that are drinking too much. And um, maybe some fantastic food. I really hope some coffee. We'll see. We made it into Luden, and we're gonna walk 20 minutes to the Chateau, first one for the day. We'll see where we end up. But this reminds me a lot of, uh, of Yonville, which is right next to Napa. The tiny little quaint little town that's got the vineyards, for sure. Saw the big, huge uh, wine bottle display. We got the old buildings. We got some vintage stuff, some cute little bakeries, so. We got an Americano, because that's all they offer here. And I got a couple French pastries. So this one looks like um, cream puff with um, peanuts on it and powdered sugar. It is a cream puff. <laughs> it's filled with goodness. Wow, that's nice. I'm like, it looks like a cream puff. Honestly, I don't speak any French, so I'm just kind of winging it, pointing and saying, yeah, we. Oui. Look at that. Got this guy. <clears throat> so soft. I'm like, this is where it's at. It's so soft, covered in like honey goo. Look like chocolate. Wow. That's a very nice French baguette. Mm. Dangerously soft. Mm. Wow. wow. I'm going to enjoy those. Inconspicuous country road doesn't look like anything. And then all of a sudden, oh, that's a chateau over there. On the whole, I wouldn't describe us as budget travelers, but our whole trip today, including the tour and tasting, is going to be literally 34 euros. And if you find the same thing on TripAdvisor, you spend 190 for two people. So I'm not, you know, just about trying to save money for the sake of trying to save money or missing out on experiences, but I'm always about using my money wisely. Um, the biggest difference is that we had to get a tram to a train and then walk 15 minutes and to me that's a small price to pay for like, I don't know, what would that be, 150 euros difference? Seems like a good use of time to me. Welcome to Chateau de Agassic. I think I said that right. This is their beautiful, beautiful vineyard. Look at the chateau back over there. This is a fun place. We get to taste some wine here today. It's one of the number one uh, places to come if you're gonna go and taste wine in the Bordeaux region. There's a handful, I think there's four or five regions outside of Bordeaux. Don't quote me on that if you're a sommelier. 
but uh, we're up here in one of them. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna go to one of the ones that's a little bit more local to Bordeaux, but still, I mean, we're in Bordeaux. This is amazing. <laughs> story on this 12th century castle um, it, it ties into the war of uh, France and England I think and it was actually a defensive um, castle to protect the river and the Bordeaux region so everybody in Bordeaux owes this castle some some love because people are probably shooting from them windows it was obviously rebuilt after it was destroyed probably a couple times but um, pretty fascinating. We're gonna go on the inside tour right now and uh, see what it's like on the inside. I think it'd be easy to build one of these though. I don't know, it'd be good for a house. This is the foot uh, with yeah. the knee. Yeah. It's okay. two angel. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, they're holding a bouquet of flowers. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, um, welcome to our castle, to mm -hmm. our lordship. Amanda. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. And uh, there are the, some, some grapes. Mm -hmm. some 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 wine. vines yeah some vines yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's the king suite like that's a new idea for the name king suite <laughs> that's cool yeah. the king of mm -hmm. france wow that's mm -hmm. impressive mm -hmm. so it was converted to renaissance style um in the latest owners but uh, the king of france lived here at one point according to our guide <laughs> So 20 years? <laughs> yes, 22% 2, 2 of Gabinet Sauvignon and 48% of Melon. Mm. Okay. So, like 50 50. Mm -hmm. Almost 50 mm -hmm. 50. How many different kinds of wine would they mm. make each year? How many different wow. bottles? Different bottles. Uh, yeah, so I like don't know exactly the different bottles. We, well, we they just whatever is in here, right? We produce uh, 2,000, uh, 200,000. Well, that's total. Okay. Like, and they're not all the same blend? No. Percentage then, is different and then the names may be different? No, no, no. Uh, for example, here mm -hmm. the brand is Lagasson. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, our greatest wine sh is Chateau de Gazac. Okay. And we have a um, uh, much more expensive Precision. Every year. Mm -hmm. Depends the harvest. <laughs> So this is a good one. Of course, about. it's much nicer. Mm -hmm. It's very, um, it's a lot more smooth. Oh yeah, I mean, it's been hanging out for 10 more <laughs> it's years. It's relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not as harsh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the tannin side. It's basically like Harry Potter, except for instead of owls, it's pigeons. So this was built for homing pigeons so they could send messages. How cool is that? And also um, to eat them sometimes. Apparently. Eat the bad ones. <laughs> they didn't deliver the message in time. What an amazing time. So different from any other winery that we've been to. This is so much more small, cozy, intimate. There's only a few people here. And it was a very casual tour. It wasn't like a lot of times you go to wineries and you expect someone dressed in, you know, very fine clothes doing this like very proper presentation. And here it was much more approachable, much more casual, much more like, hey, we're just all here hanging out for the day. Come join us and learn yeah. a little bit about the wine and the region. And it was it was really great yeah. a gem and a real little medieval castle that was converted to a renaissance castle and uh, of course a little pigeon house for 300 pigeons uh that was the modern day um equivalent to email it takes up a lot more space pretty funny and they require food <laughs> and some of them didn't make it <laughs> yep shoot down the messenger pigeons don't shoot the messenger guys <laughs> So we're just going to wander around here. I think we're going to go find some food and I don't know. We'll see, see where the day takes us. I have the whole day off today, so I'm Yay. excited. We're going to use it. Google Maps said we could do it. I don't really know. Oh, look. Here's the sidewalk. Luck of the draw, baby. Hey, look what we found! Luck of the draw. A crate over troubled water. Imagine gourmet burger <coughs> place in wine region of Bordeaux. Burgers start like 14 bucks and they work their way up. It was a $21 burger. Half the burgers had foie gras um, and some amazing cheeses. I ended up going with something a little more traditional. I wanted something with mustard. We got a mustard from Dijon, which is also from France. Um, bacon, onions, grilled beef, and some fantastic potatoes. Cool. this thing. Yes. Put it in the shade because it's like just glowing because the sun's so bright right there. Just move it towards me. There you go. Nice. It's dripping. Mm. Mm. I love the mustard. Mm. Mm. 